Mike Baker, Executive VP of Bob Baker Dealership, explains that for reputation management to take root, it needs to be integral to the infrastructure and philosophy of the dealership. Reputation management first needs to begin in the infrastructure of the dealership. By everyone understanding that the dealer's philosophy, whether it be the ethics, whether it be the integrity, whether it be the honesty, whether it be the sincerity, and both the fixed and the variable operations. Both are equally important. Obviously, the fixed operations are bringing in the most profitability to the dealerships today versus the variable operations, as it has been for the last several years. And beyond that, most of the reputation, when you talk about the consumer, is derived online with 75 to 85 percent, depending on the metropolitan area that you live in, is going online and getting information up to a year now. They're going most of the time to Google and Google will have reviews and reviews can be said simply as reputational management assessments. No different than your friend would tell you about a restaurant that was good or bad. So unlike the past, what I've learned in the last five to six years, not really believing in testimonials. I mean, whether it's um, Jane or Bill or Kirk or whoever, what credibility do they have as a testimonial? But today it appears that the credibility of reviews, because dealers are not doing enough, there's a nominal number of reviews, People are looking at them, according to JD studies, at a level of up to 70 to 75 percent. That is incredible. But the dealers, not to demean dealers in any way, but I don't think the realization is there that reputational management derived online being that the reviews that are online associated with Google, when you go to the dealer side, and it's particularly the map, that is on Google, the map sites where it shows Yelp, it'll show um, Yahoo, it'll show, even on the third party independent sites as AutoTrader, there is third party reviews that shows the consumer what the customer's experience was directly, not from the dealer's perspective, but from the customer directly.